Hello! Today I'm going to do an unhaul of Ani's toys and basically what that means is I spent some time this morning going through all of her toys in the various rooms of the house that they're in and pulling out the things that she doesn't play with anymore. <laughs> Some of her little baby toys she does still use and she'll play with for an extended period of time whereas a lot of these things she either never plays with if they're out or she'll play with them for like five seconds and then put them aside because she's bored with them. So an example of a baby toy that I am going to keep for her because she actually plays with is this Lamaze Flappy Dragon. I don't know what it is about this thing. She loves it. She loved it when she was little and she still likes it now. She will pretend to make it fly around, we feed it snacks, we put it to bed, but because she'll play with this for an extended period of time, even though it's a baby toy, I'm going to keep it. But a similar example is her Lamaze Hippo. When she was a little bit younger, she really liked for us to make this dance in a particular way, and whenever she saw this toy, she would request it by going da 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 because that's the little song we made it dance to. And periodically, sometimes she would look for this toy specifically to have us play with it with her. But she doesn't do that anymore, so this is going to be one of the toys that I'm unhauling. At any rate, while I have stayed on top of her clothing for pretty much her whole life, as she outgrew things, I put them in boxes and put them in the garage, I haven't done that with toys. So I have a few more here than I thought I would, but we'll go through them. And what I'm going to be doing with them is just putting them in these old diaper boxes. Even though we only disposable diaper part-time, we have a good number of these. And what I've been doing, particularly with the clothes, is, for instance, when she outgrew her preemie and newborn things, I put them in a box. And with the Sharpie, I wrote on there, preemie newborn clothes. We're not entirely sure if we're going to donate, garage sale, keep, what we're going to do with all these things, but it'll help by having them sorted. So today I'm just going to be putting these things in diaper boxes. So, like I said, first up, the Lamaze Hippo. We loved you. You were a lot of fun, but we've outgrown you. Next up, two of her sensory boards. Um, every now and then she'll rub her hand across these, but more often than not now, she's trying to pull these things off, which is not what I want. So, goodbye. These little crinkly baby books were a huge hit when she was tiny and doing tummy time, and I was just trying to encourage her to like start combat crawling. But again, she likes actual books now, so these are going by the wayside. So these next three came with her tummy time mat. It's this little I love you heart, this little butterfly, and these little flappy birds. And somewhere in here there's another toy. I'll mention it when I get to it, but these are going to go. As well as her actual tummy time mat, or play gym, or you know, whatever you call these. Well loved. We used it every day, multiple times a day, but I've been storing it in her room, and obviously if she's on her tummy playing, she can do it on the carpet now. So this is going. I found the bird that went with the tummy time mat. Two more Lamaze favorites, the pink dragon and the moose. I personally loved the moose. She liked them both. She liked the dragon especially because it had the little mirror. Um, a lot of times we would hang these on the tummy time mat so they'd be up above her because the Lamaze animals usually have high contrast feet. Um, this one doesn't. But again, like I said, I'm keeping the one dragon. She doesn't play with this dragon. It's only that flappy one. So these are going. This little monkey gym thing. This scared her for a long time and then she liked it and now it's scary again. And for the most part, oh, glad I looked. This is a lacing bead pig. We're not getting rid of that. Um, she just doesn't tend to play with it very much anymore, so it's going to go. Possibly her all-time favorite little, little baby thing was this aquarium. Um, it doesn't work anymore. I'm not sure if it's the batteries or what, so before we sell it or donate it, we would make sure. Um, but it lights up, the little animals moved, it played music. It's meant to go in a crib. We never used it in the crib. We used it um, on the floor for tummy time, but it was a big hit. Bow Wow, another tummy time hit, and then when she was a little bit bigger and starting to move, she really liked this. This is another one that's not working. I'm not sure if it's batteries or if it's broken, but she loved to push the buttons and have them, you know, light up, sing, dance. This was a favorite. My sister got her this one before she was even born. It's one of those little skip hop toys. Um, it 
drove itself around, played music, and then the cloud lit up, and if you pulled the bee off, it made a different noise, and when you put it back on, it'd start driving again. When she was just starting to crawl, she loved this thing. This was actually one of the first things that made her laugh, um, but this was a great one. Again, not played with very often anymore. Another light up music toy, again, tummy time hit. I feel like that's a theme. A lot of these toys were tummy time. She's obviously outgrown that stage of her life, so a lot of these toys are a little young for her. This is another one she liked to just pick up and play with, but it also, not working anymore, used to play music and then these little bits here would light up. And um, This one was nice because instead of having to push a button, if you moved it, it would start a new song. So if it like played a song and then stopped, as soon as the baby would like hit it, it would play another one. I'm not even sure what brand this is. The only thing I see is it says Redbox. So I don't know. I've, this one I think came from a thrift store. My mom was here. She bought it for Ani. Um, and we definitely got good use out of it. This one was a Christmas gift last year. Again, it was to encourage crawling because if you pushed it, it rolled. Um, but it also is just sort of like a baby fidget toy. Lots of different things going on. This was actually a big hit until very recently. Um, periodically she would get it and, you know, spin these or flip it upside down just to see the things move. But recently, sadly, not in the favorite rotation anymore. A few more like Lamaze toys. This one again was meant to go in a crib. I didn't use it like that. I used it for tummy time. Um, she wasn't ever a baby who was like interested in being in her crib if she wasn't asleep. So as soon as she woke up, she wanted you to come get her out, whether there was a toy in there for her to look at or not. Some babies are pretty content to lay there and, you know, maybe kick at these or squeeze them or make them make noises. She wasn't. However, if I laid it out in front of her at tummy time, lots to look at, lots of motivating things. So again, got good use out of that one. This Eric Carl one we used with her um, tummy time mat because it had the had the mirror on the bottom. <laughs> so if she was on her back, she could look up and see herself. Lots of things. This one actually, a toy broke off it. Um, so this one will probably end up getting trashed just because it's broken, but it was cute. A Lamaze Owl. This one was also popular because again, it had a mirror. Most babies like that. She was definitely no exception. This little guy that always kind of creeped me out, but she liked it for a long time. Another Lamaze toy. <laughs> she really did like these when she was younger. I'm kind of on the fence about this one because every now and then I'll catch her playing with it, but I don't think it's often enough to warrant keeping just because she's getting into a phase of life where she's liking to play with like little people, blocks, that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm going to put him in the box, but he'll be on the top. So if I change my mind, he'll be easy to rescue. I think my sister got her this one too. It was one of my favorites, this little avocado rattle. Um, we usually hung it from either her car seat or her stroller when we went out. Love it. It's just super cute. I mean, how can you not love an avocado? I think my sister-in-law got her this one for Christmas last year. Um, it's sort of like a Weeble Wobble Eeyore. She liked this one a lot. Right as she was starting to learn how to crawl, she liked to whack him. He'd scoot away and she'd crawl to him and whack him again. I think this one's technically Lamaze too, at least it has that style. Oh no, Infantino. Um, this is a cube. I think my aunt sent it to her um, for Christmas. Just something different on every side. And then in here you have the mirror and the ball would come out. And then on the bottom just a thing to look at. Again, a big hit with her. A teether that she doesn't play with anymore. Um, this is Infantino as well. She really liked it when her front teeth were coming in. It is sort of like a food grade silicone and it's really squishy. Um, and the back is textured, so if she started like grinding her gums on it, she'd get relief from that. This little guy who I think came with another tummy time mat that we had, he crinkled. That tummy time mat actually got put out in the garage with some clothes, but she still played with this guy, so I kept him in here. She has now outgrown him. So despite how cute he is, He's got to go. And then last but not least, again, this one until very recently was popular. And this is this little Winnie the Pooh TV. It does still work. I actually think my youngest sister had this exact thing. But she loved that one. 
no longer playing with. We don't have a huge house. I don't want to keep things that she doesn't play with. So looking around, that is everything. All of that is going to move to the garage to be stored until we decide whether we're going to garage sale, donate, keep, yada, yada, yada. But hopefully you like this unhaul and we'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.